From the previous episode, we know all the tricks to select files. Now we can learn how to copy and move them to another location. I am Luke from Apple Online Academy, and if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button to learn new things every day. This time, I have to show you the most basic technique for using your Mac or any other computer, and that's copy and paste. In its simplest form, it works like this. You can select something like text and then copy it by using the keyboard shortcut Command C. C means like copy. Then you can go somewhere else in that document and then paste it with Command V. But there is a lot more to copy and paste than just that. For example, I can copy and then go to a separate document like this and paste it into the document. I can even put it into a completely different app like Safari or put a copy of the text in a new message or email. But what I do very often is to copy text from a website. But when you copy, notice that it's not just the text you are copying, but also the styling. In this case, the font size is bigger. And most of the times the websites have many styles combined and it looks like a mess in your document. However, you can copy and paste with matching style. The shortcut for it is Shift Option Command V. If you find it too complicated to remember, you can always use the edit menu and select the option here, paste and match style, until you remember it. But to make it easier for you, I have created a free course about macOS shortcuts. I will leave you a link in the description. It's entirely free without any obligations or sharing your details. So check it out if you want to master Mac shortcuts. But now back to copying. I will select this text on a website once more. And this time, instead of simple paste command V, I will use the new combination Shift Option Command V. And you see, it now uses the style of my document, so it's not a different combination of different styles anymore. And one more thing while you're working with text on the Mac, you can also use Cut instead of Copy. The difference is that it deletes the original content and moves it to another location. The shortcut for it is Command X. This is useful when you need to move the content, not copy it. But unfortunately, you can't do it with files and folders in Finder. Or can you? You can, of course, use copy and paste files and folders in the Finder. I'll open my project folder. I can select a photo like this one, Command C to copy it. Let's go into another folder or desktop, and I can use Command V to paste it. You can do it with multiple files too. Select them by dragging the cursor around or hold command key and select any item you want. If you didn't watch the previous video, you should do that, because I showed there many different techniques how to precisely select files. So once I have the file selected, I will press command C again and paste them all on my desktop. But what if you don't want to duplicate that? You want to cut it and paste it like text. It doesn't work this way on the Mac. It's kind of the other way around. It's not going to let you remove the file first and then paste it somewhere. Instead, you have to copy a file first with the same shortcut, Command C. And once you are ready to paste it, hold the Option key. So the combination will be Option Command D. Once you press it, you will notice that it moves the files instead of just copying them. Now they are missing in this folder. You can see it here in the edit menu as well. I select the file first, copy it, move to the other location and then open the edit menu. It says paste items. If I press the option key down, it will change into a new command saying move. By the way, most times you copy and paste something, you can easily undo it with command Z. If I press it now, it will move these files back to the folder. So remember command Z shortcut, it can save you when you did something by mistake. But if you subscribe, I'll make sure it will not be a mistake and bring you some more tips in the next video. So see you there.